So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and scan documents on your iPhone 16. Now doing this is very basic. So let's just say I had a document, right? Let's say this iPhone box right here, the iPhone 16 box, was the document that I wanted to go ahead and scan, right? Well, let's say I wanted to go and scan it for my iPhone 16. To do this, what you're going to want to do is you want to hold down, find the notes application on your iPhone 16 and hold it down. And you are going to see a little option right here that says scan document. So again, hold down on your notes app, and when it kind of gets into this panel, you want to click on scan document right there. Now what it's going to do is it's going to bring you into this little camera page right here. So all you want to do is you want to go and basically essentially take a picture of your particular, you know, thing that you wanted to go ahead and scan. So in this case, I'll go and click on retake. And you want to go ahead and align this as we you know basically as well as you can to your document that you actually want to scan. So in this case, you can see I just went through and took one scan. Now, if you wanted to take multiple scans, you can go and kind of, you know, take more if you want to. But if you only want to do one, you can just scan it one time. So in this case, I can go and click on retake if I want to. But if I was done, I can go and click on the bottom left corner. And I can see that scan that I just made. Now, what I can do here is I can go through and click on this filter icon here. And I can go and make it either a black and white or I can do whichever other way. Usually, I typically will make it black and white. And you should be able to go and kind of specify how much black and whiteness you want from it. But you can go and choose whichever one you want. Maybe a grayscale would be better. But either way, you can choose whichever one, right? Now, when you're done, you can click on done in the top left corner. Then you can go and click on save. So now this particular document will, or the scan will be saved in your notes application. So it can take a little bit of time for it to pop up. But once it goes, you know, once you go ahead and basically see it, you should be able to see it somewhere here. What you can do is you can open up that scan wherever that scan was. Let's say it was this one. What you can do is you can, you know, tap on that scan or hold it down and you should be able to go through and basically save the scan or, you know, input the scan and you can kind of do whatever you want to with it. And you'll have this little scan documents thing up here and you can save the scan to file. You can share this out to other people if you want to, but that's pretty much how it's done. It's a very basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.